must be good. Is it Roman? What is it? What is it? <laughs> what is it? Tell me. <laughs> what is it? I need to give you a hug. Give me a hug. <laughs> He's hugging me. That must be good. Here I am starting out day seven. It's a beautiful day and nice, good weather, a little cool. But uh, even though my video was working just fine, the new uh, microphone that I bought for my camera decided to quit on me on this very important day. So all I have is the video and no audio. So I'll uh, uh, do a voice over here and, and then just a little bit we'll come back in to where I got my other camera and it did work. But here I'm just talking about how the team went over to the other field and I decided to come into this field. And I was by myself, and uh, I just began to work the hedge roll, and uh, just talking about if I find anything, I'm definitely going to turn the camera on, and I will show it uh, to you. And then we, uh, I began to work down the hedge row uh, over here, and uh, I noticed this tree in a little high rise, and so I began to work down this other hedge row, and I got a signal, and here it was. It was like an eleven. And it was in the sidewall, and I barely missed it with my shovel. I'm so glad I didn't hit it with my shovel, but I didn't. And I uh, popped it out with my little hand digger, and uh, and look at that. That is a beautiful coin. This was the one, the one coin that was in the best condition. I had no idea what it was at this time. I didn't want to rub it. I didn't want to do anything. And so I just uh, held it real carefully, laid it down, broke out the holy water, of course, and uh, I squirted it off, and you know I have no clue what I have. Chris is not around at this time. Nobody's even around to see what this is. So I cleaned it off, but it has such great detail, has such great definition on it. It was unbelievable uh, what it was. And uh, and so I cleaned that one off, and just just going to wait on Chris to come back. I don't know what this is, folks, but it is beautiful. It's in great condition. There's the front side or the back side. I don't know. Here's the other side. Chris is on his way over here. We'll film him and let him tell us what this is going to be. All right, man. I've been out here 30 minutes and nailed this baby. That's awesome. My day's made. Here comes Chris. Let's uh, see what he says. And uh, Chris uh, came back and uh, showed it to him. And uh, this is what he did and i do have audio on this so i'll cut over to that and then we'll cut back to the rest of this it must be good is it roman what is it what is it <laughs> what is it tell me <laughs> what is it i need to give you a hug give me a hug <laughs> he's hugging me that must be good that must be good saxon coin a saxon coin let me get in the sunlight here. I'm trembling. Yeah. A Saxon coin. What date range would you say that might be? Canute. That sort of thing. Athelthread Canute. I don't know what that means. This is probably the best hammered coin that's ever been found. Hammered silver today, folks. Saxon. Ever. Hammered Saxon coin. Look at the back of it. Look at the, or the front of it. Look at the king. Oh my days. You see how good a shape that is? 
All right. Preacher Digger done struck it again today. You're like Britney Spears doing it again. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is awesome, oh man. This is awesome. Oh my, I just can't stop saying all oh my days. <laughs> oh my goodness. So well, long as you don't say anything worse than that, then go on the video. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I cannot believe. Do you know what I can't believe? They're I can't just believe. literally just over there where that little gully is. I had Viking coinage. This is so close to Viking coinage. Wow. It's unbelievable. Viking. Just be very careful rubbing it and everything. I haven't, I just sprayed it with water. Yeah, that was it. But, um, Look at this, folks. It's time to get a picture, is it? Yeah. Um, yeah. It's time to get a picture. All right. Well, let's keep looking. Let's keep at it. Now, Chris is just still in unbelief. He could not believe what he saw. This is the best coin, hammer coin he's ever seen ever come out of any of these fields. And he's uh, on his phone right now. He's researching this. He's making a phone call to the fines liaison officer. Uh, he is researching exactly what this is. And it ended up being the King Edward the Confessor. Uh, which was the last Anglo-Saxon king and uh, dated from 1050 to 1050, uh, 1050 to 1053. And it was in the very prime time of England's history. And uh, it was just an unbelievable time. And uh, it was just an unbelievable dig. And as far as I thought that was all it was going to be, my day was made. But lo and behold, uh, everybody kind of cleared out. And uh, Chris went back to make a phone call to the final liaison officer. And I began to dig again. And you're not going to believe it. Here I am. I'm sitting down. Now I've dug my first one right there. Now here's my second one. And there it is right in the plug. And I couldn't believe that uh, I had only found one. But now I have two of them I've already found. And uh, so I'm so excited uh, right now and called Chris back over we break out the holy water and we spray this one down and uh, it's going to be another King Edward the Confessor the coin number two and uh, I just I can't believe right here I'm just talking about how I just can't believe that I, I found two, uh, one much less two of them and you can see how close they were together and here Chris has told us uh, to, to no longer dig we can look for the signals but not dig them out and uh, because he's going to get the liaison officer, see if he wanted to come out and stuff like that. And so uh, here I, I, I'm, I'm looking around. I'm still spotting some signals. And right there, I've dug my one, number one and number two. It rang up on, as a number 11 on my equinox. But here I got another signal. It was a 14. Thinking that it's a 14, it, was, it wasn't going to be another coin. But when I popped it out, lo and behold, it was my third Edward the Confessor hammered coin. And it rang up as a different uh, number. But uh, it was still, nonetheless, a Saxon coin. And I'm not even going to clean this coin. I just decided I was just going to just wait till everybody got out here. I was just going to leave it right there. And uh, there's possibly going to be some more out here. There's going to be another a, a, a horde of coins out here, maybe a jar or whatever. So we're just going to wait. I mar have another mark one right there. And I'm just going to wait till Chris gets back and dig that one when he's with me. And so we're just going to let this down, wait for Chris to come out. And we're just going to keep looking around and see if we can find even more coins. I can't believe it. This is my third hammered Saxon coin. There's the first one there. The second one there. Here's the third one, which I didn't think this was going to be as a different signal, so I dug it. I'm not supposed to be digging them right now. And I've got one marked right here, maybe one right there. We're thinking this is going to be a whore. But let's go ahead and let's bring this out. But again, it's time for the holy water. Let's bring it out and let's clean it up. Here and it uh, is, we'll folks. Get it the third up. one I've dug within now 45 minutes. I can't believe that. All right, I'm marking my signals now. That one's marked. It may be a fourth one right there. I got the team around us. There's Bethany with Alaska Relic Hunters, her husband Jeremy, and uh, Scott. They're all searching around here. And uh, but look at this. Here it is. Let's get them all in the same direction. I can't believe that. That's unbelievable. Man, my day has been made. Three hammered in perfect condition. We may have made history here today. This is 
number eight, day number eight. Uh, we're back out here in the same field where I found the uh, three hammered Saxon coins yesterday. And uh, yesterday my audio didn't work on my video. And so I apologize for that. I got Nugget Noggin's other spare microphone using his camera today. Hopefully it'll work. But uh, last night I got to talking to one of my hunting buddies on this trip with me, Scott, uh, from Ohio. And uh, he told me that he had a large uh, 15 inch coil. So today I am hunting with a large 15 inch coil thinking to go deeper where I found these three maybe we can find a, a few more. We talked to the mine lab folks uh, and uh, they have told me to change some settings in here in field. I tried it in field and I'm back in park one. I got my sensitivity all the way up, iron uh, all the way down. I'm running full metal and got my swing down to three and so I'm hoping that uh, we're going to get deeper and that's the thing and we're digging all signals all types of signals i'm digging everything and i came out here this morning 30 minutes uh i left my shovel chris had to bring it back to me he's over here tr still trying to find some and dug a, a, a target right here and believe it or not there it is we haven't even cleaned them up yet they're still there we're going to leave them right there till the archaeologist or the flow liaison officers out here and we'll show it to, uh, close up to the, those in just a little bit. And so, Chris is in desperately looking for one. <laughs> and uh, came over here, the sticks mark where I found them yesterday, one there, one there, and then just right off, I found another one. There it is in the coin ball, right there. There's number uh, four, five, six, and believe it or not, I dug one right there yesterday, all right here in, in the, together. And there it is in the coin ball there. Number six, hammered coin, Saxon coins. They've never been found on this side of England. And they're from 1050 to 1053. And what a find. What a find. This is uh, designated by England as a hoard. We're actually looking for maybe the urn of coins or stuff. And uh, it's definitely a national treasure. So we're doing everything by the law. Uh, the liaison officers involved and communicated with, the archaeologist is communicated with, and uh, we have permission to go ahead and, and look for these. And uh, so we're doing everything by the book. That way uh, it's not some American over here stealing national treasure and smuggling it out. I really hope I get to keep these, uh, but I'm not sure. We'll find out. Uh, definitely get credit for it anyway. Now, we're calling this the Saxon Field is what we're calling this now. Or well, at least that's what I'm calling it. And... Uh, and so I looked on the Google Maps and I could see where this field has been plowed. And so it's plowed this way. So I'm working kind of where the plow lines are. And as you can see, let me get right here. One, two, three, four, five. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six. They're all in a row in a line. Somewhere in here. Button. Got a button? Somewhere in here, there's got to be the rest of them in an urn full of coins or something because these coins are just in mint condition, uh, mint condition. They were dropped as soon as they were minted. All right, we're not gonna find any coins digging, I mean talking, so let's get back to digging. Unbelievable, guys. This is, this is number four. Number four, check that out. It's in great condition just like the other ones. This is 1050 to 1053. Saxon coins. This is a definitely going to be a hoard. That's this is number. Look at there. So let's move on over. I've got uh, two more to look at. So let's go clean them up as well. Here is number five in the coin ball. You can see it right there. Pop this open. Well, I lost it now. Where'd it go? There it is, right there. Oh, this is going to be even more silvery. Check that out. Oh my goodness, look at that. That is unreal. It looks the same, but it's actually different. Time to break out again the holy water. It is, look at that. Yeah, there's so many subcategories of these coins. This one looks a little different. 
Oh, I love that little man. He's gorgeous. Check that out, folks. Hopefully you can see it on camera. The way I can see it. Maybe that focus there. The way I can see it. Let me get it focused. Look at that. I'm not going to clean it too much out here in the field. That is number five. Number five. Let's just sit him right down there. And we'll move over here to number six. Yeah, that's a little different. Dug one right here. Dug one there and one there. Moved down. We dug one there. Dug one here. Now, this is the furthest one away. Come all the way down here and check out. Here's my little buddy again. I already dug him out. All these are in just excellent shape. So if I pop that, I'm not rubbing it, folks. I'm just popping it ever so lightly and scraping that off. There it is. I know you can't see because of the sun. There we go. This is number six. Let's get him over here. Let's get the little man out. Where'd he go? Kind of hard to spray. There he is. Can you see that? Running out of running out of water. That's, that's a good thing when you run out of holy water out here digging so many coins. There he is. Wow, I'm gonna take them all out and we'll get a picture of all three of these today, and then I'll get a picture of all six of them together. Alright, let's do it. You guys are not gonna believe it. I came from that field over there, back over here to the hammered silver czar right here. And I just dug a, a different hammered silver. This is Edward the First, you said? Yeah. 1272 to 13. That, 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 that would right, sure. 12, 13th century hammered silver. Check it out. It's even hold. Long cross coinage. Long, long cross coinage. And it sounded like an iron tone in here. Check that out. I'm going to get the other camera and I'll give you a close up. As you can see right there, it's definitely a hammered silver, long cross. 1272 to 13. Wow, this is old, guys. This is my seventh silver, hammered silver, just out of this one little spot right here. From there to right there to right here. And this is a different silver, silver than the other ones. You can see the cross right there. All right, I'm glad I came back over here. Let's keep on going. Number seven. Wow, this is my 12th silver, my ninth hammered silver on this trip. That's amazing. All right, day seven is in the books. We're back. This is what I've got sitting here in my room. And uh, I've got some type of copper ring. I really not, I don't think it's a personal ring to wear. It's just some type of uh, copper ring. Another musket ball, some little shield, uh, tomback button, and another nice little button. Here are my coins. I have a, um, the uh, far on the far left there is a, a uh, King William III halfpenny. Then I believe the second one there is going to be this one here in the middle. is going to be a William and Mary halfpenny. Then we got a um, King George V. And then we also have uh, Queen uh, Elizabeth two shilling. Those, those are my coins for today. And again, I had an awesome day because I dug these three hammered. These are the Edward the Confessor Saxon coins. And these are very rare. As you looked on, uh, maybe some of my, already seen on my Facebook or on the uh, uh, Instagram, you've seen the history of those. They're very rare for these areas, never been found on this side of England. Uh, but these date back from 1042 to 1053, and uh, we believe they're part of a hoard of coins. And uh, so uh, those are really nice coins. That one in the middle, they're just immaculate condition. No wear or anything on them hardly at all. Uh, back in my room for day uh, eight. And uh, had a pretty good day, as you can see, especially right here. Got four hammered coins today. 
But here are the buttons. I've uh, got a combat button and a gold button here, gold guilty button. My coins today is uh, eating up a KG2 or KG3. Not real certain on what this one's going to be. Probably a KG2. Uh, uh, then we got a Prince Albert. I think that's it, 1904, something like that. A modern, a modern coin. And then I uh, started the day with the... Uh, uh, yesterday, I dug those three uh, Saxon coins from 1042 to 1053. Today, I dug three more of those coins. There they are. They look very nice, don't they? And then not very far away, I dug this coin, another hammered. And this is going to be from, uh, I think it's the 1200s. I think it's the 1200s, he said. So any day that you're digging Ford hammers are, are a pretty good day. So there are my finds. For day seven, uh, day eight, I'm sorry, here in England and uh, having a good time. But like I always say, the greatest treasure is not what you can dig and find in the ground and take pictures of. The greatest treasure is what's up in heaven. So keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, just want to say happy hunting and God bless.